Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ridge episode 14 of Star Twinkle Pretty Hair. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this and I cut two friends out ASAP. If I don't get it out today, I'll get it out tomorrow for you guys. Um, a lot of things have been happening, <laughs> have happened between yesterday and today. My dog is currently sick. Well, he's sick, but he's more of hurt. He, um, sprained his leg, so... We're just, like, taking care of him, watching him and stuff. And so I've been really... I wasn't able to film this and I cut to yesterday. So I was like, no, I'm going to film it today. And then I was like, I don't know if I have time to literally have it come out today. But I am going to try. We're going to try today. But other than that, let's go ahead and get started. And three, two, one, go. All right, let's see what the heck happened in today's episode. Or really, not even today's episode. Yesterday's episode. My God. Oh, I forgot to put that on. It's over by with my other iPhone. Sugar on anything. I'll do that after. Of course. <laughs> oh. Oh, we're finally going to see her parents. Maybe just her dad or her mom and her dad. I see kids and they look so cute. Oh, my God. Look at Lala. He got it. Oh my god, it's so cute. I like her dad already. He's more, um, he's like, um, not only friendly, he's very welcoming. You can just tell, like, on his smile, like, the smile on his face and stuff. Like, mm -hmm. He might be the Delph of this series. I don't know. Because, like, Monica's dad is okay. Um, we really don't know anything about Hikaru's dad. And hopefully, we get to learn more about it. Like, we, in the first episode we got to like learn some things and then we know okay um lala's dad <laughs> so i i kind of have to give you know elena's dad the dilf award of pretty care <laughs> the dilf award for pretty care <laughs> i mean okay hold on well then who the heck won last year i think it was probably Hannah's dad? Yeah, because Homare only had a mom. We never saw, what was it, Saya's dad? No, 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 we saw her dad, we saw her dad. I'm trying to think. Uh, and Emilu's dad and Lulu's dad. Mm -mm, let's not talk about that. So yeah, 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 yeah. Hannah's dad won Dilf of Pretty Care for Hakuto. Yeah. <laughs> 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 It's, it means hello in Spanish. <laughs> and that's her mom. <laughs> oh my god, they're so sweet. You know, let me say something real quick. Her mom literally looks like Kasumi from Persona 5 I. <laughs> Persona 5 the world. Confirmed! Mommy's a phantom thief. Because <laughs> she has the same color eyes and the same color hair, so come on. Hmm. 
means thank you. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. The it couple of this series. Ah, that's three, four, five, five kids. Five kids. Oh. Smile. Five kids. Five kids. My God, I'm I'm sorry. That's gonna be on my mind. Uh, well, no, then he's six. Six kids. Put me to shame. I mean, no, I don't have any kids. Oh, because it was um Cinco de Mayo. Mm-hmm. For us yesterday, when the episode came out. Hell, I celebrated so, so really yesterday. Mm -hmm. I think so. What do you mean by weird? That's not weird. Well, remember, your family is different from other people, you know? Yeah. Poor baby. Like, I can understand that. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> Madoka! Toma. Toma. Oh. Oh, my mom, well, no, my parents did that when I was younger, like, they would dance around and stuff, like, but, I mean, when you're listening to good music and stuff, it happens, so, I mean, I think he just assumes that his parents are really embarrassing to him, and we're, we were all like that when we were kids, going into, like, teenagers, we're like, yes, our parents are embarrassing as hell, but we love them, though.
<laughs> it's just the way she speaks. It's fine. <laughs> It's far, far away from here. <laughs> mm, probably. Uh -uh. Mm. So yeah, it's in a way. <laughs> of course. Countries. Yeah. And for all families are different too. Of course they would be here. And I'm, I'm guessing, like, Toma's the key to get it. Maybe. was going to turn into something, not just be a bigger version of what he was. He could have been like a son. But no. I, I, <laughs> they'd be like, no, no, no. That'd be too easy and simple. This is too easy and simple. What was that? Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know when you hear something like mm -mm, no, like mm -mm. no. I did not like that sound. Mm -mm.
you would assume that they would kind of start with Elena, but no, that's okay. It's okay. Also, this episode is making me even love, like, Lala even more. I mean, because she's the one who found Toma. And she talked to Toma. Just, it wasn't that long, though. It was just, like, maybe a couple of minutes. But just having someone else besides her sister, his sister come and talk to him, it's sweet. And he gets to learn, like, oh, okay, well, it is, it is normal for people to, you know, dance and hold hands and possibly even sing because that's what couples do. It's a dwarf. Also, he's making me want a lollipop, and I don't have a lollipop in my house, so. But damn! You know what I honestly thought was going to happen in that moment? That her dad would have came in and then, like, blocked the attack and he would have got hurt a lot. Oh, ma. Oh, I know. She's gonna block it though. Oh, I'm sorry. See, it makes me think, like, with each color pen, you know, remember how, like, Libra was a yellowish color? You see now Scorpio is a very orangey-esque color. Each color is going to be, like, it's all two-tone colors, because, like, every girl has, like, a two-tone color as color. So, um, Elena has, like, a fiery color, colors. Um, freaking Milky has, like, water, um... Madoka has like a um not a cosmos. I feel like we're like the next here might be a cosmos character, but I feel like Madoka is more she's more she's a moon as character. So I don't know. I don't think it would be colors of the moon, but then that'd be a little too weird. She's like Madoka is like freaking Mizuki. Let's go Mizuki for my katsu. 
honestly, I'm sorry, except if Mizuki was in like middle school, but she was in high school during I got to. Yeah, and you just lost it too. Sad day. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> Halfway done. <gasps> Hi. <laughs> oh my God, he's so cute. Oh, that looks so good. I'm I'm hungry now. God dang it. My mom made, like, taco meat, so I feel like she's probably making even taco salad for her, and I can have nachos tonight. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. He's so precious. <laughs> I wouldn't eat the jalapeno. Uh -uh. Yeah, if you don't like spicy things, then... <laughs> Moral of the story, if you don't like spicy things, don't eat spicy things. And I've met a lot of people who don't really like spicy things. I'm like, oh my god. But I've met people who are like, no, it's too hot. I'm like, no, it's just right. It's fine. We can make it hotter. <laughs> like, Kenesha, no, please don't do this to me. You're going to kill me. I'm like, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. But Toma, he's so cute. Like, oh, my God. I just, like, he's cute. I can have a little cute crush on him. Just, he's adorable. Like, he's just so, mm. I just want to cuddle him. Be like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can understand about having parents or family members that are weird and do weird things. My parents were like that before certain things happened. Everyone's family is usually like that, but that's normal. And that's how your family's supposed to be. They're supposed to embarrass you and stuff. Even though sometimes it gets on your nerves, you secretly love it. And you just, it, it makes you more happy. I'm just saying. Because like, my mother does a lot of weird, embarrassing things. My dad, not so much. Um, had, like when I had my first channel, my mom would always come in and say something. Anytime when I would stream, my mother would come in and then I have some people be like, you know, honestly, I'm just here for your mom. I'm not here for you. And I, I know it was a joke, but then I'll be like, really? Like, no, like, <laughs> get out. <laughs> An idol. So, okay, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So, from what someone has told me, it, it's a, it's not a pretty here um, Twitter page that I've, I've, like, found out about this about, like, I think Saturday, Sunday night when I found out that she was coming. Um, I do know when she is an idol. So, she is, she a thief too? She, she like, freaking, um... St. Tail, except, you know, 
she an idol at the same time, too? I'm a little confused about that. I mean, I, I think it's a little interesting to have an idol and a thief together. I mean, hey, look, you know, Phantom Thief, Persona 5 in a nutshell. Um, except there were no idol characters who were thieves <laughs> a part of the Phantom Thieves in Persona 5, but we're having a gymnast who literally looks like Elena's mom. So, hey! <laughs> It's canon in some way and shape or form, but I don't know. I mean, seeing her, like, let me go back real quick. And let me, like, um. She's, I'll say she's really pretty. I do like her eyes. I do like her hair. She kind of gives me the, like, even though her eyes are closed right now for the preview, um, for the part that I'm saying, uh, she kind of reminds me, and I cannot believe I'm about to say this, like, a little bit of Yukari vibes? Like, even if Yukari was... <sighs> Yukari was nice. We all know Yukari was nice. But Yukari was very, like, a to-herself kind of character until her girlfriend came along, because we all know that. But, uh, it just... Yeah, Yukari was just always on her own. And she seems like that, but she seems a little bit more happier and upbeat. Like, don't get me wrong, like, Yukari was happy and upbeat, but she was only really around that, around the girls, and around her <clears throat> girlfriend, wife, I'm just saying. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, like, I think she's gonna be a really interesting character. I already honestly do like her. She seems different. I mean, the thing is, like, we haven't had an idol-esque character, like, in a while, I think, since um, no, not happiness charge, uh, Doki Doki, Do yeah, Doki Doki, no, 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 I'm lying, because, no, because would you consider, uh, what's her face from, uh, freaking a la mode as an idol, no, she's more of a rocker, so yeah, 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 because she's more, she's more of a rock star, and idols are just, like, they don't play an instrument, so yeah, we haven't had an idol since Doki, so, yeah, I think I'd be a little different with her. I think she's going to be, you know, this character that a lot of people are possibly going to like a lot. I'm just hoping that um, when we see her next week and getting to learn more about her every single week until we find out if she is this last cure that we're going to have for the group, which I'm assuming she is. Do not tell me anything. I want to wait to find out if I'm right. I don't want someone in the comments like next week saying, oh, yeah, she's right about this. Like, mm. um. I, I don't want it to be like how when Lulu and Emidu came in and maybe a little bit of when CL came in in Ala Mode, how they they kind of focused on the new cures a lot, but not as much. Well, no, they, no, they focused on them uh, a lot, a lot. So much that like the original girls, to me, by the usually by the end of the series, going on to the next series didn't get a lot of screen time and a lot of character developments. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. Like, I feel like Alamo did have a lot of character developments, but then I still have um, problems with certain things about Alamo and the same thing with Hugato. Because, like, with Hugato, I feel like Saya didn't get a lot. Um, Hana got some, but I feel like Saya got the short end of the stick, and I think a lot of people can agree with me on that. So I'm just hoping that if, it, if this girl is our last character, don't give her a lot of screen time. Don't give it... If it's every single episode, give it to her and somebody else. Don't just 100% be like, okay, let her get all the character development, screw the other four, and then by the time we get to the, like, the last three episodes of the series, we're going to try to stuff in everything that we can about uh, Lala, Hikaru, um, Elena, and Madoka. I feel like if they do that, then... I don't know how. I, I'll be pissed, but then eventually I'll get over it and stuff. But I, I would honestly, I really don't know. So please don't really do that. Like, I, I am praying to you, Total Animation. Do not. I swear to God. <laughs> if <laughs> if this happens, I'm going to write a freaking letter. I will learn kanji and just be like, please don't do this for any other series. Future picture series. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction review towards episode 14 of Star Twinkle Pretty Here. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Magic Squad. And of course, I will see you guys all officially next time for episode 15. Bye, guys.